definition of done. Yeah, and portion. <laughs> Yeah, let's do two or so. Um, I'm yeah. starting the system. You don't want to finish the demo. Uh, yeah, just like this. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes. Yes. That's it. Of course. Hank, what do you think is your step? You're supposed to open it for you. <laughs> 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 Human beings are so systematic, aren't they? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. 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 Yeah
They <laughs> suck. <laughs> but the good thing, you know, that's paper ships. So paper owns women. <laughs> <laughs> so um, regarding the policies, okay? Policy for the first round is we're working in a FIFO system. FIFO means first in, first out, okay? Probably there are some ships queuing up somewhere in between. Try to build queues, okay? First in, first out. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay. Um, that was the first rule. Second rule, quality is good, but I want to earn money because I can sell each and every ship for a hundred rand. Okay, and I want to earn money with you. So, second rule, fast. That's not the children birthday party here. Okay, we want to deliver ships, and I want to to earn money with you. Okay. All right, so is it okay your step? Do you feel some kind of Pressure. okay? Not that cute, but that's basically what it's basically. Yeah, that works, right? Uh, I have my watch here, and it's really important for this experiment that it works, and you feed the system like hell. I mean, why shouldn't we work on these, on this stuff, on this stuff? What I mean, orders? They, they, they are ordered, right? So let's get started. I want to earn money. I mean, that's quite a lot of money. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you did a little bit of preparation work here. Okay. So, if uh, is everybody ready? Yes. No. Maybe. Yes. 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 Perfect. So, countdown. <coughs> Cecilia. Huh? Okay. <laughs> we start in three, two, one, go. Faster. Come on. Faster, faster, faster! I, I meant it. <laughs> really faster. That's, that's okay. And that's okay. Yeah, great. And that's okay. Yeah, that's definitely how to see. Beat the system. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Damn, faster. Quality doesn't care. It's really about getting the shit to work. Yeah. And even faster, you can do it faster. <laughs> so, the chips are <laughs> chicken actually, is it right? Cool. Yeah, that's what I want to see. People are working, I am earning money. <clears throat> oh, it's shocking. What's that? All you have to do is fuck. Okay. Gotta pull fast. Big difference. Big difference. What is this? Yeah, do not, do not improve the, the, the process. Really work for one. Okay. <laughs> but that would be an improvement. Yeah. So okay. But you're doing yeah. really great. It's like I'm some that, that's sort of rush. <laughs> Just to make the rest done. Literally fold in the stickers. Oh my gosh, they skew! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so, 20 seconds. And after 20 seconds, we stop, okay? Or we pause. Cecilia, don't forget to hit the pause button then. And not, oh, okay, yeah, maybe then there's something like resume. So, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, stop. <laughs> Cecilia, stop it. Perfect. Okay. So. Now let's. Yeah. It, that doesn't matter. Okay. So that one is out of the system. So let's count. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Yeah. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. Right? Okay, so I will write this down. 22 was the whip in after two minutes, okay? So here we go. Okay, now there is a red chip, and that's our last chip, which enters the system now, okay? So that's the last chip. Um, is everybody ready? Yeah, okay, Cecilia, you? Okay. Yeah, exactly. So, Cecilia, you're also ready? Okay. Wait, what are you timing? Just the same. Just carrying on. Two minutes again. 
Yeah, just keep on. Yeah. Okay, just until we get the red ship out. No, no, just keep push start again. Want to start again. Yeah, just, yeah, okay. just, just hit start again. From again. Yeah. So, and. One. Wait, sorry, wait, we're, 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 yeah, yeah, we're, 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 everything is just the same. We just uh, pause because we wanted to, to measure the dip. Okay? Just keep on working like before. So we don't want just to do that one. No, no, we, we carry on. First in, first out, like before. It was just a, a short pause, okay? So, Cecilia, okay? okay. Perfect, and go. So last chip is on its way. And it's only the last chip because I'm such a nice guy. Because there are plenty of ships still out there. Right? Yeah. Let's make dollars. Let's make dollars. Yes! Oh, money. <laughs> and full therapy. So you have to refold your fold. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't matter. Thank you, Nadine. Not really. Quality fail. Roughly five minutes, and then we're through. Uh, five series. Refold your folds. <laughs> it must be harder for you. Than oh, <laughs> okay, don't, don't care too much about quality. It's really, it's just. Let's get them out of the door. That's fine. Quality is good, but. When am I planning? You know, paper ships. They <laughs> just swim. Oh man! This cool. Is so, <laughs> and now, what's going on here? <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> How can we help you? With a bonus help, for instance. Oh my word, I just hmm? bought this thing. <laughs> yeah. They're going to give you more money if you're faster, are they? There's a bonus on the line. A team bonus. I just want to see the first Friday right now. My team, I mean, you did a great job. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. So we're going to go play Snicker now. Mm. Okay. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just bring a water bottle and a glucose pack. And a Don't focus too much on quality. Try and melt your glass. Oh focus. my goodness, guys. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Don't feel under pressure. So. Not at all. Not it's at not all. that everybody's waiting on you. Everyone's watching the video. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so should we go and get some coffee? <laughs> and now that you've got to <laughs> But remember, in real life, you guys would be still um, working, right? There's no need to stop working. We have plenty of orders out there. So at this stage, I've missed dinner, I've missed luck. <laughs> Bye. 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 <laughs> Third week at the office. I need a shower. What about Only some, two more minutes. What about some wine? So, oh, yeah. so if, if I was thinking like a manager, then I would say, well, let's have two people folding the final thing. I wouldn't make you yeah. change the flow. Maybe. So, okay, we're going to have three people doing that final fold. And Maybe. Maybe. Let's talk about this later. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Usually, slow down. Usually there's much more work in the system, of course. Because but you can, but you, but you, but we're uh, optimizing for resource optimization. Yeah. Fire, yeah. fire. So. Okay. <laughs> No, but you can see she's only she 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 to do well, three folds plus a But you can see it because you're not working. Now you block it. See, I'm a woman. I used to do extra okay. work. <laughs> so in real life, you guys are working. Yeah, so you never see, a whole lot you never see the thing. You are working. Yeah, that's fair. Right? <laughs> no, blind to the fact. <laughs> okay, so one more minute. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Yeah, you have so to, I'm, I'm going to ask Eve, I don't know how to do this. Yeah. <laughs> what did you do to this thing again? Just fold the... Oh, yes, you folded her other half. Fold it yes. up and... Yes. What did you do? What did you do? I'm with your ears. Uh, <laughs> hey, my head, man. <laughs> you did your job and mine. Whoa. Your, oh, so you, <laughs> you had two folds. Yeah. You could have at least lined them up nicely for Eve. I did. Well. I would say Hink's fault were a little bit rough. That's right. And the last ship. And some people. That will help us now. Yeah. The middle <laughs> voice is like a gap in the middle of the ship. Yippee!
job. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll get you to take a drink now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Guys, fold your folds. <laughs> <laughs> cool, so that was the first round, okay? Um, push without limits, and again, you guys would have been working in real life, okay? Um, now, let's ship the ships. And um, now, we are changing uh, some of our policies, okay? We don't want to do push anymore, and we will limit our work in progress, okay? So, what does this mean? We limit the work in progress in each and every activity by one. Okay, so this means you have some kind of working area in front of you, okay? And in this working area, there is always only one ship, okay? So you basically do your activity, and then we switch from push to pull. You just leave it in your working area when your, stop, when your step is over. And then you signal that you are done by putting the hand in the ears, okay? Uh, in the beginning really put the hands in the air because the switch from push to pull is not that easy okay and you really you wait until the ship gets pulled out of your working area and if there's nothing in your working area you can go to your neighbor and pull in new work if there is work available okay that's pull so do your thing hands in the air and wait basically and only if there's nothing in there pull from your upstream neighbor do we need to know how many we've built in the last round of this area? Uh, we have the we have oh, the numbers we have. Yeah, yeah. we have a lot of data. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, everything else uh, remains the same. We're still working fast, right? I want to earn money. We're still working fast and yeah, it's just, the, the, the activity doesn't change at all. Just pull, working so area, step. I don't over. raise my hands because... Yes, yes. because that's, yeah, yeah but still, also, it applies to you because um, if, if nobody pulls the work, okay, you are. You must have your hands up to say Daniel, but. Yeah. yeah. Daniel. Also, yeah, you you do your step, okay, and then yeah, you don't push it, just uh, the hands in the air, and yeah, yeah. Also for you, only for the last step actually. There's no hands in the air. I mean, there is probably hands in the air, but you push it out of the system, right? There is no pull going on here. Okay, because you are the last step actually. Okay? All right, everybody? Yep. Yeah, and again, after two minutes, there will be an alarm and we will stop and count the whip. Okay? Sorry, policy and quality hasn't changed. <laughs> actually, yes, we retrospect it and the quality has to. It's <laughs> from You have to fold your fold. Fold your fold. Yeah. Mark something for it's learning in a second round or so, okay? okay. And yeah, yeah, yeah. start with zero, of course, again. Okay? All right, Cecilia, is yeah. your timer reset? Yes. Um, everybody's ready? Yep. So, countdown. We start in three, two, one, go. And hands in the air. Yeah, you, you already have it. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Faster. We're still working yeah, no. fast. And go. No, no. What? No, no. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Okay, let, let's okay. let's start again. Let's start again. Let's try it, okay? Let's try it without measurement. So, okay. Okay, you know? Yeah. Leave it. Leave it. Yes, and that's yours now. And hands in the ear. Exactly. Hands in the ear song as well. This one. Sorry, I think I stopped the camera. Yeah, and there's no need to slow down. So we're still working fast, okay? This is a dry run, right? Yeah, that, that's a dry run now, okay? We're still working fast. Give me that hand. <laughs> yeah. Really, just, just, just leave it in front of you and dance in the ear. It's, it's a little bit different in the brain, yeah? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's cool. Perfect. Okay, but I think we got it now, okay? It's really, I don't know what it is, but it needs something in the brain. It's, it's different. Yeah? <laughs> okay, perfect. So, throw them away. Throw them away, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah let's reset the timer, please. Okay. Hey, and wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. But the important thing is we're really still working fast, so don't slow down. Okay? All right? 
Cecilia? Perfect. Three, two, one, go. And fast. And hands in the air. And the next. And faster. Ah, forget about quality. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. And hands in the air. Perfect. That's full cool now. Yes. Now we are pulling more through. Oops. 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 <laughs> it wasn't the push, it was a slide. <laughs> Right. Shocking. Yeah, that's cool now. Cool. What can you do? So far. And we're still working fast. Okay. No need to slow down. And here we go. Perfect. Sure. Yep. Yeah. What's that? That's what you're What's that? Rather than blind. What's that? Twister. You plan quality and you don't have quality. There's company policy here. It's a super dodgy one. <laughs> Alright. So I'm getting a little bit nervous because I can earn money with these ships and you guys are not working. Okay. <laughs> it works still fast, okay? Don't slow down, please. Otherwise, we don't get the measurements. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's really about working fast. Yeah, perfect. Oh and pull. Hold your pulse, people. Oh, she's just got that. So, 10 seconds, Cecilia, and then. We pause again. <laughs> Two, one, and stop. <laughs> <laughs> you passed, okay? Sorry, sorry. Perfect, yeah. That was a too right. cumulative flow, but who else? <laughs> so, Just in time. Perfect. Okay, so what is the width? What do you think? Sink, actually, is the width. Number of heads, plus minus one, maybe. Mm, yeah. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's a width now. So uh, you already. Yeah, so the next is actually, uh, yeah, that's why it's minus one. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, okay, um, red chip comes in again after two minutes and we just proceed. Okay? Just, yes. So, yeah, you are ready? Okay, and go. Okay, another red chip. Okay, the, the red chip now enters the uh, know, two minutes and five seconds or so. No, seriously. Oh, really? No. Probably not worth measuring quantity, right? No. No. So, I'm bankrupt, you know. It's not going to go anywhere. You guys are not working. Yeah. I'm watching that like <laughs> all the way through the system. I could earn a hundred rand and you guys are sitting around like this. I mean, are you crazy? <laughs> ah, <laughs> good was. Maybe we should read this one and just. Seeing that you guys have so much free time on your hands, you want to like hold your poles a bit better. He rushed us. All right, last chip. Almost. Oh, that's now. Nice. The last one's by me. Yeah, I don't <laughs> have like 20 waiting. And here we are. Perfect. <laughs> All right. So now, um, before we do um, the calculations, what was the difference between the first and the second round? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe not for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Chaos. Chaos. yeah. So what I found was because like everyone else is finished and I can feel that they're finished, but I'm yeah. back to my task. It's quite disheartening to see like you can't 
<laughs> yeah. To but get through it. Everyone else is like, okay, in real go. life, like, I need to go. I yeah, know. in real life they wouldn't have finished. Yes. So in real life they would still go on working actually. So, but then the second time we were really sitting around like this, so nobody was working, right? I also noticed that once the, the, the thing started happening, you actually had more time to do it properly. Yeah. So in the beginning it was a bit rushed. You yeah. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, because it's only probably on the red one that it came out like that. But you, I don't know, hopefully down this side, I'm not sure if I noticed that coming through. Yeah. The folds had, you had more time to do a fold. Then you yeah. Properly. Exactly, yeah. So uh -huh. slowing down. Okay. But I didn't earn any money with you guys in the second round, right? Because you were simply not working. <laughs> yeah, so let's take a look. Let's take a look at the numbers, okay? So um, we can calculate the average throughput of ships per minute, okay? Um, how do we do this? Well, actually, we just count how many ships in each and every minute arrive here, okay? So how many ships did arrive in minute one? So where the, the, the minute was one. actually zero. One. It was one, okay. So we are talking about um, push. the push system, okay? Mm -hmm. One ship. How many ships did arrive in the first minute? Or where? Four. Four, uh, where the minute is two. One, two, three. Three. Minute is three. You one, down. two, three, four, five. Five, where the minute is four. One, two, three, four, five, six. Where the minute is five. Three, four, five, six. Where the minute is six. Three. Three. Where the minute is seven. No. Nothing. Okay. So now we can calculate calculate the average throughput. Okay. The average throughput is nothing else than the average of these numbers. Right. However, I will cross out the first number. Why? System wasn't full. Yes, the system wasn't loaded, right? So um, in the second minute, actually, we had a full system, so we can count the throughput, actually. So when did the last ship arrive here? Six minutes thirty. Thirty. So yeah, it's even. It's also not a full minute. So let's just cross this one also out, okay? So uh, the average of these numbers is now our average throughput. So how much is this? Hmm? Divided by Twelve. one, two, three, four, five, it's four point very high. Is this because we need it for for, for the little slaw, but it's it's four point eight or something like this. If we need the correct number for a little slaw then that's twenty four divided by it's four point eight. Is it four point eight? It's four point eight. Okay. Cool, perfect. So we got 4.8 SPM, ships per minute, okay? <coughs> right. So I'm earning roughly 500 rand per minute here, which is actually quite okay, right? <laughs> um, now, uh, let's do the same for the pull system, okay? So how many ships did arrive in minute zero? One. One. Minute one. Five. Minute two. Six. Minute three. Three. Minute four. Over. No, okay, so let's cross out the first two. So we got an average of five and a half. Five point five ships per minute. So what does this mean? Throughput was faster was faster, yeah, no. but that's more like a coincidence. So yeah. I've, I've done this um, exercise quite often, actually. And usually you get pretty much the same throughput. So here you get five ships per minute, and here you get five ships per minute. I mean, it's only two data points, right? Um, yeah. But we didn't go beyond minute three, so we managed to achieve a higher throughput with less time. Um, yeah, that's another thing, how many ships we actually delivered. But let's go, let's go to this. Um, Let's come to this back a little bit later. So here we are earning 500 rand per minute, and here we are earning the same amount of money. Here, you're always working. Here, you're sitting around like, oh, I don't wanna work. <laughs> <laughs> and we are earning the same amount of money. Why? There's no cues. No cues. 
why were there actually queues? Hmm? We started more work than we were capable of finishing. Yes, we started more work than we were capable of finishing. Because there were bottlenecks in the system. Yes, there was a bottleneck, right? Two of them. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Two of them. Which is? These two. <laughs> What's your problem, yeah. man? Also, <laughs> also, <laughs> also, <laughs> also, the uh, most Hales area didn't have any idea what's happening in the background. Exactly. We, just, back we have so many work to do, let's just start it. I mean, why, why should we wait, right? Yeah, but the point is we had a bottleneck here, right? And um, the overall throughput of a system is determined by its bottleneck. And that's nothing new. We know this since we are, I don't know, five years or so, when we got our first contact with a funnel, right? I mean, that's nothing new. Um, yeah, so um, in the second round, we burn the same amount of money than in the first round, okay? However, you were sitting around like this. You were not working all the time. It's lag. What could we do with this lag time? Forward to thought. That could be <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get a cry for help. <laughs> and see that we could improve. Improve, exactly. So what, what, what could be an, an improvement in this shipbuilding? So what I... Mm -hmm. so, well, the word I heard, like, because I've been bitching the whole time about forge fault, but all of a sudden, <laughs> the second one, like, you guys started talking about quality. I heard the word quality popping up more. So, yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Might have. It's probably a bit more quality. We could also maybe redesign the area in the sense that uh, people that do the same type of holds that they interact more. Like mm -hmm. you put James and me to one side and we do the side. So then I don't know, I don't maybe I'm just rambling. But what I'm trying is that the functional areas do some some peer interaction. But in this particular case, so really in this case, in this shipbuilding, what could we have done better? Um, well, what is an improvement step, actually? I, I could have added an extra fold mm. before handing it on. For instance, yeah. yeah Until I became a bottleneck and then... Spreading your responsibility. <coughs> yeah, so there were quite a lot of uh, steps in, in one activity, actually. So why don't we spread it out more, yeah? What does it do with this number? Nothing. That would increase It will increase the number. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because we were able to process more ships, yeah. right? So what else um, could we do? Um, we could help in the bottleneck, right? Why would we want to do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good question. <laughs> uh, we could help in the bottleneck. So um, if we help in the bottleneck, what, what is going on with this number? Increasing. It's increasing again, right? So the point is that there is slack in, in our systems and we, we should use this slack actually in order to improve our system, in order to help in the bottleneck, and so on. Starting new work, yeah, there's no point in starting new work. We earn the same the same amount of money, right? We probably so spend, spend more money on, more on, on, production. on actual yeah. production that's lying there, not finished, not yeah. used. So For instance, yeah. More work. yeah. So um, if it comes to um, help in the bottleneck, so how, how do you do this in a, in a flow-based system? Well. What we would do is we would install some kind of buffer here in front of the bottleneck, okay? You guys are folding into the buffer and when the buffer is full, you guys stop working, go to the bottleneck, fold out of the buffer, and when the buffer is almost empty, you go back and feed the system again, okay? So we observe um, variation actually by introducing this buffer. And now, I mean, you are a really folding expert, right? They can never ever do this. You are the specialist, right? She goes on leave. <laughs> but nevertheless, she 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 is the she is the specialist. So she's doing five ships per minute. Even if you guys only do one ship per minute, it's one ship more and increases our throughput, increases our revenue actually, right? So in our world. She's doing a task in a day, and you guys need five days for it. But it's still worth doing, because we're earning more money with this. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? All right, so um, let's, let's stop the throughput discussion here. Um, we've also um, captured another um, data or metric, which is the lead time of 
the red ship. So the lead time is the time when we start working on it until it was here, okay? So I entered, um, we started working on the red ship after two minutes, okay? So when did it arrive in the first um, round? So the last chip. So after two minutes? No, um, the, the, the very last chip. When did it yeah, arrive? 6.30. 6 30. 6 yeah, 6 minutes. Um, so the lead time is minus two minutes. Four minutes. Four. 30, right? So when did the last chip arrive here? 334. 334 minus 2 is? 134. What does this mean? You actually produce processing faster in the core system. Yeah, and what would have that started and I think finished? So we have to like finish all those other things before we could do that. So there's like, it took forever for that one. Exactly. Exactly, because um, the whole system was full with whip actually. And if you start new work, the work has to yeah, make its way through the, the whole whip, right? In the second round, we kept the whip outside of the system. So whenever we start working, we can ensure and guarantee that this work gets finished very, very fast, right? And very fast means a factor three in this case, right? That's really faster. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, so um, now we can do a couple of um, thought experiments. Um, what if this red ship, okay? Oh, now, before we do the, th uh, the first uh, thought experiment. So here in, in the push system, okay? I, um, or we started working on the red ship after two minutes. Um, what if we start working on the red ship after, let's say, 15 minutes? It's going to be even worse. It's going to be very worse, yeah? Exponential. So this, we'll be finishing next week. Yeah, th this is probably an hour, 60 minutes, or maybe even more, right? What if we start a ship after 15 minutes here? Still one minute 34. Still pretty much the same, plus minus whatsoever, right? So what does this mean? Here, we're working in a stable system. Here, we're working in an unstable system. If you're working in an unstable system and it comes to committing a date, you can also roll dice. <laughs> you don't have to do a lot of estimates and analysis and so on and so on, because the time actually totally depends on the amount of whip. So if there's more work in the system, it takes longer. If there's not so many work in the system, not so much work in the system, yeah doesn't take that long. So don't do any estimations. Roll dice in this kind of system. It's pretty much the same, right? Here, we are in a stable system. We roughly know when work gets finished, right? <coughs> so let's, let's do um, two or three thought, experiment, thought experiments now. We are working in an unlimited push system, okay? And we've started working on this red chip after, you know, uh, 10 minutes or so. So I think after roughly 40 minutes, there should be somewhere here, right? Because it really takes long to finish this thing. And now there comes the customer. And the customer says, you guys, what's wrong with you? When I do the ship on my own, I can finish it in one and a half minute. And after 40 minutes, you tell me it's 80% ready. Everything is 80% ready, if you ask, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, well, I want this ship to be done fast from now. Highest priority to this ship. And as each and every company, of course, has something like customer satisfaction in the vision, mission, whatsoever statement, um, we will satisfy our customer, okay? So, what do we change from this point in time? Um, in our policies so that we can make sure that the red ship is finished very, very fast. So I had like a whole big queue of things. So yeah. I ignore the queue and just focus on the red ship. Exactly. So we, what, what we actually do, the queuing mechanism, we change it from FIFO, first in, first out, to LIFO, last in, first out, right? Mm -hmm. So whenever a red ship enters an activity, we work on the red ship first. And the consequence is that the red ship, of course, overtakes all the white ships. Right? 
So what's the consequence um, regarding lead time for the red chip? Much faster. Much faster. What's the consequence regarding lead time for the white chips? Slower. Slower, right. Okay, so um, usually you don't have only one customer. What if you have four customers? And of course, it's customer satisfaction, so high priority. Now we have four red chips uh, in our system. Okay, what is the consequence to the lead time for the red chips? Slower, yeah, it's going up. What is the consequence for the lead time for the white chips? Even, Even worse. worse. Even worse, right. So that's not satisfactory, right? So we need more high priority work. So all ships are red chips. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the consequence? I quit. <laughs> you're great. We're back to 40 minutes a ship. Yes, you're back to, we don't have any priorities actually. So the lead time of the red chips is totally equal to the lead time of the white chips. Because you don't have priority, red chips is standard work, right? So if we want to ensure there is some kind of expedited work, we have to limit the priorities, we have to limit the number of expedited ships in the system, otherwise we cannot guarantee this, right? If that's also true for your overall work in progress limits totally, as well. Totally, totally. Like if you've got 22 things in progress and you try to expedite, then everybody's so busy with the other stuff, it doesn't always help to... Exactly, okay. yeah. Right, so... Um, yeah, what, what I see quite often is that um, people are really working only on high priority stuff, uh, prior one, and then it's unsatisfactory, of course, so we introduce prior one plus. <laughs> you know this? Yeah. Yeah? And it works for a short period of time, right? <laughs> Until we are only working on prior one plus. Then we usually build some task forces. Do you guys know task forces? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah, that's another solution. And I was uh, in uh, in Detroit, uh, Detroit last year, in the automotive industry. What these guys did is they prioritized task forces. <laughs> <laughs> so there was some kind of learning loop not done, right? <laughs> so when it comes to priorities, we have to ensure that the number of priorities is actually limited. Otherwise, it's just not possible to guarantee. Um, that work is finished faster, right? Does it make sense? Okay, so that was, uh, let, let's do two more thought experiments, okay? Um, again, we are back in this system. We started working on the red chip after 10 minutes or so. Uh, lead times are somewhere one hour, whatever. And again, the ship is somewhere here. And now the customer steps in and says, yeah, you know, uh, right, um, red chips are really nice, but green is the new red. <laughs> <laughs> I want to have a green ship. I mean, the world is turning, okay? Um, I've waited 40 minutes, and I really, I, I can't do anything with red chips today. I need a green one. So what do we do? Check out, out the red Yeah, <laughs> we throw it away, right? And start working on the green ship, which is actually very smart because we just wasted your time, <laughs> right? And we wasted all your energy and time in a system where no work gets finished. So that's not very smart, right? So um, let's think in, in this system, where is actually the red ship when the customer asks for a green ship? It hasn't started yet hasn't started yet because we are queuing work outside of the system right so the red chip is somewhere here don't know so now the customer says I want to have a green chip what is our answer sure it costs a little bit more <laughs> yeah but um, that's what what actually late commitment is right so we want to commit as late as possible right and so the customer requirements and everything can change until the last responsible moment actually. But when we start working on this ship, it's finished within a minute and there's no way to change actually um, the mind. That's what we call late commitment, right? Um, so that's also the point why this is treated as options. 
right? So that's an option that we um, finish this work, but it's not committed yet. So commit as late as possible, but if you commit, work on it fast. This can only be done if you're working in a limited system. Does it make sense? Two more, one more thought experiment. Um, yes. Um, what if you guys right, were a, not, not a single person, but a team, right? So that's teams who are performing activities and, yeah. Um, what if we now introduce uh, Scrum or Kanban or whatsoever on team level? What does this mean to our system? What if these guys are working faster? What does it do with my lead time? Is it just no. these guys that are working faster or everybody? <coughs> well, nothing well, to your lead time. Yeah. It will go up. If these guys it's work faster, faster yeah. just these guys, okay? We're feeding the system. It's more is this fast. In the, is this in the in the in the, in the unlimited, unlimited system? Sorry, okay. in the unlimited system. Okay. Yeah, in the unlimited system. So you guys increased your team performance, but the system is getting worse. Welcome to the world of system thinking, right? Local optimization almost every time leads to a global sub-optimization of the system. Yeah. So, if we start with Scrum or Kanban or whatsoever, where do we want to start here? Portfolio, like the Portfolio that's, that's the one thing. And if we want to go uh, to team level, yeah. there's one team we have to start with. The yeah. bottleneck, of course, right? Anything else makes it worse. So you guys, your velocity or whatsoever you think is a, is a good measure to take goes up. But the overall velocity goes down. That's not good, right? And what if we have a bonus system <laughs> on team level? Because we don't do individual bonuses, of course. We do it on a team level. <laughs> I'll be in this team, not that <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. So they get paid more. You're it's pretty much the same. Yeah. Right? You're just increasing the size of your queues everywhere. Exactly, and there's totally no motivation to help out somewhere in the bottleneck. I mean, why should I? Got my bonus. Yeah, it's, yeah. Also I want to get my bonus. What, what pays out is that all those half ships that we built up there, mm -hmm. we have to have them somewhere. So we will have to rent space. We'll have to provide someone to look after them. Exactly, yeah. Especially <coughs> in Amos, South Africa. <laughs> <laughs> OK. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I mean, that's something that we don't see in, in knowledge work, <coughs> actually really don't see in knowledge work, because our inventory, I mean, our, our the place where we store it is hard drives. And yeah, hard drive, you know, disk space is not a big deal actually, right? But, but, but if, the, if the code is half worked on and hasn't been rolled back, yeah. then you now work on that same code. Base. Exactly. You have to rethink you exactly. Now, you're yeah. trying to do a green boat, but you've actually already got half red boat. Yeah in there and you haven't rolled it, you know, yeah. there's a risk. And that's why the first practice of mm -hmm. Kanban is actually make your work visible. Mm -hmm. You see this, right? Otherwise, it's, it's totally yeah, impossible to take these decisions, right? What about my first question that I had? What about, was it? Well, just if, if we look at in the push system, if yeah. we were to, to have a manager, like in the old uh -huh. days, you know, he walked up and down the back and he saw there was a bottleneck and he said, well, we're going to just push it back slightly, we're going to make people at the front do two folds yeah. so that the person at the end doesn't have to do five folds. That's a good it point. Seems like logic. So what, yeah, what, what is the consequence? What does it do with the throughput? In the we, just, we would go faster. Yeah, the throughput will go up. You will probably almost double your throughput. But you finish as many though. Maybe, yeah. But that's really hiring new stuff, right? But also, sadly, she doesn't want to share with us how she Hold it because then he'll be out of work. Okay, but, in the but I quit. She's very glad. Yeah, sure. And we will talk about this. Um, I, I will so, so I can see it in a manufacturing thing working well that you take out the bottlenecks easily. But in a knowledge space, 
it's not as easy to, s mm. to do that. Yeah. It's pretty really hard to, to, to see where the bottlenecks exactly. actually are. Yeah. Because bottlenecks are but moving. Yeah. <laughs> but we will also, talk about this a little bit I later. I could also have team members that feel like I just sit here and I've got slack, but I'm not actually doing any improvement. Yeah. How did the, you know, you've got to have a team that feels responsible to go and let's get involved to make this thing better. Otherwise, they could just sit there and browse the web. Yeah, yeah. I'm, so I'm improving my knowledge on some other piece of yeah. coding technique that I'm never going to use here, but... And that's why it's... Like that was a pool system. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded really bad. It sounded yes. like a lot of, <laughs> lot of sudden um, work in progress. So what was the last... Slack. Slack. Like, yeah, and that's why it's so important to work on intangible items, or at least to have intangible work items on your board. Because that's what you guys do if there's slack time, right? Mm -hmm. Work on the intangibles, work to improve the system. And hopefully, intangibles have something to do with increasing throughput in the bottleneck if it comes to system um, intangibles. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay, now let's do one more thing, um, which is... Little's law. Does anybody know what Little's law is? Or remember? Yeah. So the lead time of the system is uh, equal to the, the width divided by divided by throughput. Exactly. So we have <laughs> cool. So we have all these numbers, right? So what was the whip after two minutes, we have it here, the first round, okay, it was 22, right? So whip was 22, our throughput was? 4.8. 4.8, so, thank you. Uh, totally now. 22 divided by 4.8. 4.58. 4.58 th minutes it's four point no it's not yeah four point five eight which is let's say let's do four point six um forty four thirty six roughly minutes right so yeah. that that's point and that's so that's the basis of a hundred here here we have to normalize it to sixty so it's uh Roughly 4.30 is the lead time, right? I hope it's right. Yeah. 4.30. 4.30. There we go. Okay. So that's Little's Law, right? Um, what happened in the, in the second round? Um, something changed. Actually, this number went down to 7, right? The throughput went slightly up. That's just a coincidence. So 7 divided by 1.3, which is 120, 1, 3, 118. Right? 135. So 1.3, 1.37. 3 times 6 is 18. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we are slightly, <laughs> but that's that's pretty much okay, right? It's a couple of seconds actually. So, um, what did we see here? If you, I mean, unfortunately, these numbers are a little bit off. Usually, these numbers are totally the same, and you can just say if you decrease the whip, your lead time goes down. So, if you don't let too much work into the system, right, your lead times go. Um, goes down. What else could we do, James? This is um, your question, actually. To inc uh, to decrease the lead time, we could increase the throughput. Increasing throughput is hiring more stuff. Okay, this one is usually much easier and cheaper than hiring new stuff. Does it make sense? Yeah. Okay, so this law works somehow. <laughs> We're a couple of seconds off, but that's, that's fine. Okay. Are there any questions regarding this? Maybe we could go on the whole day with this, but I think...
Again. Ask Peter. <laughs> cool. Yeah. So, any other questions regarding this? Do you remember to press start? <laughs> <laughs> like that's a yes. <laughs> okay. So, done. Perfect. Okay. So the idea is that we now try to, um, yeah, work on the learnings here. Okay.